Hey guys, it's Jimineer. Welcome back to another Dragon Veil 2 episode. Super excited about today. Today we'll be upgrading Kairos and Gaia to the second level. That's right, because we hit level 40 today, so that's awesome. But before we get the video started, though, I'm going to note we do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There will be a link down below to our Twitch channel. Check us out there. For right now, let's level up Gaia and also Kairos. So if you guys don't know, I hit level 40 today. That means I unlocked the ability to get a new island, upgrade Kairos, and upgrade Gaia. I didn't even know I could upgrade Gaia level 40, so I learned something no so that's pretty cool but uh, you can see right here i have way more than enough currency if i remove the webcam to upgrade kairos and gaia i only need ten thousand for gaia which is awesome and i need one thousand little uh time things i'm gonna call them time things or time currency for kairos and i'm actually gonna teach you guys real quick how you get these currencies so for kairos it's pretty simple you activate kairos's ability to get some currency that way they'll all them up you can also get some by using the racetrack to get some that way and also get some by by using gems to speed up things so let's say if i was to speed something up in my nursery with some gems i'll get some little time things that way so that's pretty awesome and then if i was to get stuff for gaia for flowers level up level her up i should say it's pretty simple same thing you basically just hatch dragons in your nursery that's why i'm bringing a bunch of crystal dragons the longer the incubation time on a dragon the more flowers she'll get so that's why i'm rebreeding crystal and just trying to get a ton ton of crystal dragons so the faster I can level up. I've only spent two days getting crystal dragons and I'm already at 15,000 to level up. So that's awesome. I'm actually going to turn the webcam back on. And there's no other way of getting flowers for Gaia that I am that I am correct. The only way is from the nursery. And that's by just hatching dragons. And I just recommend if you get Gaia and you want to upgrade her. Just breed a ton upon ton of crystal dragons. It works really well, surprisingly. Which I'm not I'm not that surprised because crystal has a really high chance of breeding. And also it's kind of like a meme dragon too, because whenever you get it, you're trying to go after something else that's annoying and has a long time. So you know what? Guy gets a perk out of it. So that's all that matters. So yeah, that's awesome. So first of all, let's upgrade Gaia first and take care of that and let's see how she looks. So here we go, we'll activate Gaia, we'll upgrade her, we'll upgrade her once, that's awesome. So she gets reduced time on incubation by 2%, of course, at level two, which is awesome. So now that's taken care of and now I just need to get a bunch more crystal dragons to get another 10,000 currency to upgrade Gaia on the small account. So that's pretty cool. That's, that's gonna not take to me too long. If I got 15,000 within two days by using crystal dragons alone, this should be perfect. Okay, now let's activate Kairos. Kairos gets an upgrade too, so base level is six, and I'm pretty sure it's seven at level two. So here we go. We get level two Kairos. He gets a nice little seven. Uh, skipping time. I forgot skipping time. I don't know. What, I was about to say like advanced time or something like that. But uh, now if I activate his ability, it won't skip six hours. It'll skip seven. So that's awesome. And I'm pretty sure the longer Kairos' ability skips, it gives you more time currency. I might be wrong about that, but I think I'm correct. So I'll just test it out later. But um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So now I just need to get a bunch more currency by skipping gems. Or not skipping gems, by using uh, Kairos' ability. By hatching gems with... Uh, hatching gems? What? What am I saying? Hatching eggs with gems. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know what the heck I was saying earlier. And also just racing in the racetrack. I got a few more races to do today, so I'll do that that way. So that's pretty awesome. I also can reactivate Kairos' ability now, so that's pretty cool. Because I, I can't, I keep forgetting. When you uh, activate, like, when you upgrade Kairos, you get to reactivate his ability because of it. So that's pretty cool. So I actually want to show you guys real quick. If you activate his ability, you'll get some currency from that. So let me show you guys that real quick. I should probably have Tai Shin or something just to click on my currency this is gonna be a really dumb idea but i'm gonna do it anyways i should collect it all beforehand but you know what here you go but see you get some nice currency by activating kairos so that is awesome and yeah but uh yeah that's it for today guys if you did find this video helpful and you did learn something new make sure to smash like button dragon punch that subscribe button and don't forget we do stream on twitch every monday wednesday friday there'll be a link to that down below if you want to come to our twitch channel ask me some dragonville questions i am more than able to answer them but until then Thank you all for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. And until then, stay safe, everyone. And thank you to all the members for supporting the channel. You guys are the best. I can't thank you enough. So thank you guys again. And until then, stay safe.